Oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally just turned the camera on to start this video. Already got Mario Golf for $11? That's crazy. <laughs> All right, starting out the video with a banger. Let's go. Okay, a little bit more of a market price on Sunshine, but if it's complete, yeah. I may go ahead and do that because that'll do a little better on Amazon. Metroid. Uh, all the prices are wrong, by the way. Oh, all of these are? Yeah, all, they all have to be refreshed. Oh. I don't usually bring games to cards, and those are like three-year-old prices. So gotcha. I just from everything I've repriced so far, things have gone up a lot. Okay, sure. Well, I'd be interested in what, what some of these do end up being then. And have uh, any of the games been priced so far, or? No, because we just whipped these okay. ones out. Okay, gotcha. Well, oh, actually, much more priced. Oh, that one's sealed. Good, 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 good. No, that's what uh, open ones go for now. Okay. 150. Bro. 150 on the Metroid? 230 on the <clears throat> I think I'll just pass on it for now. Thank you, though. Well, that was very disappointing. Uh, folks, we're here at the Louisville Gaming Expo looking for stuff to buy to flip on Amazon, hoping to do a couple of little bulk deals with some vendors. That first one that I just stumbled upon, I didn't even realize that they had games when they walked up. Turned the camera on when I saw that they had GameCube stuff, but as it turns out, not only had he not repriced anything in three years, but he kept on like helping people behind me, and I think his internet was slow, so it took him forever to get actual prices, and they were all at like regular market value so i thought i was getting some steals especially on that sealed metroid game with the bonus disc which was super cool to find but uh alas hopefully we'll have more luck with these other vendors all right tim i've returned to give you a bunch of money all right <laughs> so folks my new friend tim here from pick and choose has said that if i buy enough stuff he might be able to work a solid bulk discount for me so we're gonna do a little bit of poking around see what kind of stuff in the booth catches our eye and uh just kind of go from there. Let's do this. All right, check out this awesome Pikachu Matchem game that he's got in this booth. Pikachu Matchem Ketchum. It turns around. And folks, he said that he had 10 bucks on the Matchem game, so I think we're gonna have to use this as the start of our bulk pile. All right, folks, so here's an example of what we're looking for. 12 bucks for the thing is fairly close, maybe a little bit under market rate, which is great. It's complete. And the lowest Amazon listing for this game is $33, which will probably be 20 plus after fees. So even if he only gives us a couple bucks off on this, because I sell on Amazon, should be some solid profit. Money. Here's another one I buy a decent bit that does well on Amazon. Ooh, folks, here's a section that I've been selling a ton of on both Amazon and whatnot, the GameCube stuff like Rugrats for nine, I already know. Oh, that'll do well. PK out of the shadows, 18. Uh, if it had the manual, I would do that. Ooh, Quidditch for nine. Also not a bad deal. All right, here's another interesting one. Nightmare Creatures complete on the PS1 for 33 bucks. Check what, check out what it goes for on Amazon. Not a lot of listings. 71 after fees for the lowest copy. So that's a great find. Here's another good one. 16 bucks on Time Busters. Looks like it goes for about that much on eBay. So we'll throw that in the stack. It's good. Uh, another one, 30 or so dollar game for 18. Great to see. All right, folks, a little bit of a issue here. Wi-Fi is being super slow. This one just came up. So I'm gonna start going off of instinct a little bit, but Jedi Power Battles for 12 and Bomberman for 16. I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on as well. Do it. Oh, check this out, folks. Look at this little bin of bags down here. An original PlayStation carrying bag? I don't know, man. That thing just seems super cool. This. Oh, Dreamcast satchel. Let's go. Oh, hey. <laughs> this is an even better deal on Quidditch World Cup. Six bucks. Also got a complete Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3. 415 is not too bad. What else? Some of the high dollar guys up here. Metroid with the bonus disc. Okay, Twilight Princess for 90. Uh, no manual, but after the discount, I think that'll be pretty decent. And you know what? Just for kicks, I'm gonna go ahead and do one of each of these as well. Shadow's been doing well for me. We'll throw that on the stack. Sly. Oh, complete for 15. That's probably good. Uh, Mortal Kombat for 13. 
twisted metal for 20. I don't see why not. Now folks, I do not normally recommend buying this way. I'm only doing this because I have no service in here so I can't look stuff up, but a lot of the stuff I have sold before and I'll be able to get decent numbers for either on Amazon or whatnot. Ooh, I found some of the high dollar games over here too. Okay, complete Def Jam. Ooh, could this one? Yes, complete on that. The gang complete, although a little bit weird that the greatest hits is more expensive. Scarface, also complete. Okay, yeah, I may have to just go ahead and scoop up this whole stack over here. This one I've never bought before. Have no idea how much it's worth, but why not? Let's throw it on. And you guys already know one of the sections I'm gonna be most interested in is the handhelds right here. I mean, dang, he's got quite a few. Ooh, look at that. Can I get a glimpse of it? Look at that Zelda reshell. I like that a lot. We got this clear reshell that I would guess is probably AGS 101, the lighter screen. That could be a really cool one to pick up, the pink one. I'm not gonna lie, 130 on the lighter, brighter models is not terrible. I may try to pick some of those up. Ooh, and look at that Latios and Latios edition. Little uh, customization on that advance. All right, so Tim is hooking us up, brought out these Pokemon games as well. Uh, looks like some of them aren't priced yet. A couple of them need batteries. But I mean, if we are getting, you know, 20% off or so on some of these, would definitely be interested. Definitely want to know what he has on that. And if Ruby and Sapphire have good save batteries, I would do those too. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and do these two. I didn't see, I don't think you'd priced the heart gold yet. Uh, what were you thinking on that? 100. 100? But again, make a pile. Make a Sticker of 100? Okay, let's do that. Here's another good deal. 13 for Middle Earth. That's, I know, like a $25 game. Ooh, I think Goldeneye 07 Reloaded for 13 is another solid deal. That's just kind of a vague sense that I have, though. <laughs> Ooh, Godfather the Game is one that I know often does well. Yeah, we'll go ahead and throw that on as well as Pitfall for 10. I think that normally goes for at least 20 after fees, especially complete. And guess what, folks? I just asked about these bags because I just couldn't get my mind off them. He said that these would be like five to 10 bucks a piece, which I think is kind of crazy. I'm gonna have to pull the trigger on these two. Oh, look at that Taz plush too, dude. What in the world? Five bucks on this guy? Oh man, this guy's 1995. I don't think I can pass up on this, folks. Yeah, five bucks. Taz, he's got to come home with me. Don't mind me, I'm just a uh, grown man with my video games and stuffed animals going to check out. Is being a loser a bad thing? Uh, the Zelda one? The Is that a reshell? Yeah. Either way, I, yeah, I think it looks awesome. Does it feel good? Oh, the light doesn't work. Okay, right? no light on that. No. Um, yeah, let's. I'll, I'll do it either way. Um, I appreciate that. These ones, are these all 101s? The black and the pink ones are. Okay, the clear is not? The clear is not. Um, yeah, let's throw that in. If the condition on these is solid, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> and that. Appreciate that. Ooh, maybe the Pikachu? That guy's pretty cool. I like him too. Do you? Let's do that too. Ooh, he got some box stuff down here too though. Look at that Pokemon pinball. 100 doesn't seem bad on that. Emerald for uh, 400, I'll probably pass on that. Although that 2DS is interesting as well. Okay, also 59 for Goof Troop seems like a great deal as well. I'm very seriously considering Pokemon and Goof Troop. And I don't know about some of these other handhelds. These DSi XLs are kind of piquing my interest. But um, the Goof Troop also I was kind of interested in. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice shape. And what was the prices that you had on the uh, DSi XLs? 80. Um, I might do the burgundy. And do they have chargers? Yeah, I have uh, chargers on them. Okay, right there. let's do one of those and maybe one bronze. Okay, appreciate that. Thank you. All right, folks, we finally tallied up everything in this uh, little cart here. I think there were a decent number of fairly high dollar games. What did the total damage of the sticker value end up being? $2,049 at one booth. We're on a roll. You said you could maybe do a discount. Yeah. Oh, that's not including this actually. <laughs> oh, not including this stuff either. Pokemon, Taz. 
as who could forget. Okay, the actual total, 2084. Now, what kind of a, a discount do you normally use when people are buying this much stuff, would you say? Between 20 and 30%. 20 and 30% is the standard? That'd be great, I'd, I'd definitely appreciate it. 1,500? That'd be, that'd be amazing, thank you, I appreciate that. 29% discount on this kind of inventory is absolutely excellent, and we'll take that any day. All right, folks, so 1,500 spent already coming up on the last booth of the day. Let's see if we can make something happen. So it's looking like mostly lower dollar stuff at this point in the day that I can't make much on Amazon with, but we'll continue making our way over and see if that's the case in the rest of the booth. Okay, so here's, ooh, 10 bucks for Area 51. Seems like a pretty decent deal. I'll probably put that on the stack. Need for Speed Most Wanted is definitely better on the Xbox. Okay, I did manage to get my internet to work for this one. Lowest copy is 37 on Amazon, so that's a great sign. Definitely gonna look for more stuff like, ooh, Xeno Saga. Definitely not the most valuable one, but that could be good. Gauntlet, I think is like a $20 game at least. Ooh, Pac-Man World 3 for seven bucks. Seems like a really solid deal. Backstage Assault Complete for eight is a really solid deal. I saw the lowest on that on Amazon the other day was 17. I know this isn't a super valuable game, but I don't know, it's complete GameCube for 15 bucks, maybe a little bit less, that's hard to resist. The internet worked for Madden 08, and it looks like indeed $36 and a $20 price tag here with the manual, so that's that's a good one as well. And oh, I see Smash Bros. Oh, 15, not a bad price on that. If he negotiates it all, that'll be worth it. Alrighty, they said if I bought a stack, you might work a deal for me. Who said that? Nah, it was Tim over there. Counted 93. Nine, yeah, it sounds right. I mean, I had knocked $5 off. Five off. Price pretty darn low. Okay, yeah, that works for me. I appreciate it. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, it's time to play a little game of what were Caleb's best and worst internet list blind buys. Uh, in the worst column, we probably have Super Smash Bros for 15, not terrible, but uh, both this one and Gauntlet for 10. I'm likely to make like maybe a couple bucks on after fees, nothing crazy, um, but also still not losing money, so you're not gonna see me complaining. In the best category, I think uh, Shadow the Hedgehog is one that's been doing really well for me on Amazon, and also Zelda Twilight Princess for whatever 29% off of 89. That's just a really solid deal. Also, I wanted to say some of the coolest items give you guys a little bit better of a look. The Pikachu and Zelda Game Boy SP reshells. These will both be the kind of things that I'll put up in my whatnot auction because I just think they're awesome. This one, the backlight on it doesn't actually work uh, and it's got a little bit of weird quirks like there's a little a little bump right there. And the side of this hinge has the plastic taken off. So definitely not the kind of thing I'll get like the normal price of an SP4. It's just the kind of unique item that I like to have in my auctions to keep things interesting. And also buying stuff like the Pikachu game and the Taz plush. This is just stuff that I don't normally buy that is just kind of fun. Again, a big thanks to Tim today for hooking us up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all on the flip. I'm gonna charge you for two bucks! Hello!